Mwete Siwaju. We want to thank you because you have gathered us together before your presence. Just as clay before the portal. And we have been examining ourselves since we came here yesterday. And you have been working upon our lives. And we know you are not yet done. There are a lot of things to be perfected in our lives. There are a lot of things to be purged from our lives. There are excesses that need to be cut away. Therefore, O oh Lord, we are here surrender. We are here yielded. We are here submissive. And we present ourselves before you. Everything in our lives that will hinder us from making rapture. That will hinder us from making heaven at last. We pray you will remove from our lives in Jesus' name. Clay before you. You are the potter. We pray, O Lord. You will refashion us. You will remold us. You will break us. You will melt us. And you will mold us and make us in Jesus' name. Everything that is mine in our lives. You will redress in Jesus' name. Until we are perfected. And we come into full state. Statue of Christ, continue and do your work in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We praise and bless your dear holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We are looking at another. A message very important again. And the topic is renewed tongue of rapturable saints. Renewed tongue of rapturable saints. If there is any reason why we believe the Lord, that we repented and we gave our life to the Lord Jesus Christ. The major reason is that we might make heaven. And if there is any expectation for believers these days, it's expectation for rapture. And we know Christ's return is imminent. He can come sooner than we expect. And such we need to be made we need to be prepared Torina, agbara, ma, mora, and be ready Kasi, Satan. and uh, that is the reason we need to uh, live a rapturable life all the time Nina, lo, fi, ye, lati, ma, be, be, a, ye, te, o, ye, fi, gba, so, and there is uh, a member of our body and, uh, ya, uh, ya, bela, la, that if it's not well tamed to, ye, pe, ta, ba, ta, ba, koni, ya, no, it can hinder us o, le, di, wa, lo, wa, from making heaven at last lati, do, ron, ni, bo, se, one preacher once said o, ni, wa, su, kan, we, ba, that yi, every believer that we have five members of our body that are ravenous animals and we need to keep them we need to tame them every believer you know keeps or is rearing a zoological garden and in zoological garden you a lot of animals there go you there in zoological garden you see so many animals something goes for you I at Ibadan in our body as believers we have five very ravenous animals to keep and not taken and they are not well they can be our uh, drain. I mean, our they can bring our death untimely. One of them is our leg. We need to tame our leg. It doesn't carry us to hell. Another thing is our hand. What we do with our hand, we need to be very careful. Another animal is our tongue. It's very, very bad. Very, very ravenous. Very, very 
very dangerous. Another one is our is our eyes. Oh, mina lo juwa. And then the fifth one is our ears. Ekaron yeti. All these animals. Bogba wena koko pani. They are dangerous beasts. Aso kwe le wuni wa. All these five dangerous beasts. Bogba nu bogba wena koko le wuma no ye. There is one that is most dangerous. He come better ekwe uti ekpo jojo. And that is the tongue. Oh na ni awa. And uh, that is what we want to consider today. Na la se ngbe ya oloni. We are considering it in in view of a rapture. Ah wo kwe lu aso kwa kwe lu iba aso ke. Of making heaven. Ya iba aso ke lo si ono. Most of by the grace of God we are workers. Ni wang bato ekwe o kolo kwa wa kwe lori of yalon wese ni wa. And that presupposes that we are children of God. Ele wa tu man si pi omo lorun la she. We are saints. Ah yon fe ni wa. And saints are prepared for heaven. Ah wen ni mi man si ni wang man murase le hati lorun ni. And we need to take care of anything that will not allow us to make that rapture. Ah si bado se lo di si o nan ti oba ni geka dor ni bo se. In the book of Psalm. You know we only da fi di. Reading in chapter 15. Oh, I say, I can't do go. And uh, from verse, uh, from verse one to three. Eja kai se keni de keta. Psalm 15. Oni David yes I can do go. I read from verse one. In Kalat yes I can. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? O Luwa, tani yo si ati poni no agore. Tani yo magbi oke mi mare. He that walketh uprightly and walketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. E ne ti oni de de ti oni si se o do do ti oni si in salt ito no re. He that babbleth not with his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor. Eni tiko fi a re so re ni leyi. Tiko si se bi si eni keji re. Tiko si ba re egan si eni keji re. I did also in the same book of Psalm chapter twenty four. Mo ka nu oni Davidi ka nu ori kari nelo gun. From verse three. Aja ka se kata. Who shall ascend? Ascension there is talking of rapture. That okay. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in His holy place? Daniel, glory o ki oluwa logi glory o ki mbi o tumasi kwe Daniel ba ik basoke Daniel glory o ki oluwa lo Daniel si dro ni bimi mare. That's a question. Ibere ni o. And the answer is provided in verse four. I was sorry. Daniel, let's get it. The Bible says, "He that has clean hands and a pure heart." He will mima we kwe eni toni o wa mima ati ayafifun. Who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity? Eni tiko gbi o kan e soke si asan no sworn deceitfully. So in the uh, in the two passages I read, we see reference made to the tongue as uh, something that is so powerful, something that is so uh, dangerous that can hinder us from ascending to heaven. And when we look at the uh, the book of Matthew, Matthew, Matthew speaks so much about this tongue. Matthew was so particularly recording the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. We look at Matthew chapter uh, chapter uh, twelve. Matthew I read from verse thirty-three. The Bible says, "We either take the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt, for the tree is known by its fruit." So he did it. He saw the ass. He did it. Tabi so he did it. Buru. He saw the ass. He did it. Buru. Nekpa. He saw the off. He made it. Oh, generation of vipers! How can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. A good man. Out of the good treasure of his heart, bringeth forth good thing, and an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. Eh, yon ma paramale. Eh, yon ti se ni abu buru yo se le sorere. Ne tori ni no akolo ko un inu le inu so. Eh, ni anere lati inu isurare re o kare. Ni mu onere re ya dewa. Ati ni abu buru lati inu isurare abu buru ni mu abu buru ya dewa. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For By thy words, thou shalt be justified, and by thy words, thou shalt be condemned. I'm away from you. Go, go, or I will return the answer. When you're doing your job, your job, ne tori ne pa orora liya ofi da olare ne pa orora liya ofi fi da olabi. James also did not spare his pen. He also wrote about the tongue. Jacob, no, 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 si akosi le ne pa oroti anse. I read from the book of James. You read it. Jacob, chapter three. Ori keta. Let's see from verse one. Yeah, we're second. My brethren. Be not many masters, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. For in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in word, the same is a perfect man and is able also to bridle the whole body. Enyara me. Ema seji olu kodi kupo kia yiki omo kwe awa oje biju. Ne tori ni no omo kupo ni bogo ni ansi se. Bi eni kanko basi se ni no oro. Ona ni alikpe tiosi le kubo barare ni janu. Behold also 
the sheep, which though they be so great and are driven of fierce wind, yet they are turned about with a very small elm, wheresoever the governor listed. Be a basifi, Jano Boesilieno, Kimakio, Botiwa, Bogbo, Ara only our sin, ye creep by Lucasi, and walk up by Lu, be one to Toby Tony, Chan to a web of fully leg back a creek. It took a cockery, laughing daddy, one Christy, be keeping over when it in two corre. Even so, the tongue is a little member, and both said great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindled, and the tongue is a fire, a word of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members that it defiled the whole body and set it on fire the course of nature and is set on fire of hell. Ese karon be pe lo le aran je ya kekere. O si nfan nu ohun la wo igi nla ti ina kekere nsun jona ina ni aran aye ese si ni le arin awon eya ara wa le aran ba gbogbo ara ara je ti o si nti na bo ipa aye wa orun apadi si nti na bo na for every beast and birds and of serpents and of things in the sea are tamed and has been tamed of mankind. But the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Therewith bless we God, even the Father, and therewith cause we men, which are made after the similitude of God. <laughs> Alai gbọran ni o kun fun oro eku ti pa ni ohun le awa fi yin oluwa ati baba ohun le asifi nbu eniyan ti asifi nda ti adali awuran olorun out of the same mouth proceeded blessing and cursing my brethren believers their leaders these things ought not so to be lati eno kan na ni yin ni yin ati ebu ti jade eyin ara mi Eyin oni gbagbo eyin adari ati osise nkan won yi ko ye ki ori be by the grace of god we have had repeatedly read from the book of isaiah chapter 6 and i'm going to read that passage as well pelu ori ofi olorun ati ka si ti to ka ninu we isaiah ori kefa in si to kale kan si be what we see is that the danger of a tongue is not limited to unbelievers we discover that this tongue as unruly as it is, as deadly as it is, as uh, murderous as it is, we, stiff, uh, the effect of it is also found in the saints, in the children of God. Even in preacher, we need to be careful. Awa ri pe oro an o le wu gidi gidi. Ki wa se la ra wan like bagbo ni kan. Awa ri pe bi ta wan le wu te. O te ti wa to ra pa la. Awa la ri an wo zi se. Awa la ri an wo wa su to si ye ka ke sa la fun. I read from chapter 6 of Isa from verse 1. I saw your recap by second. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and the strength filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphim. Each one had six wings. With twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. Leo, don't you say your back? A miri olu wa jo kolori te ti o gati o si gbi ala reso ke i se ti aso e gongwa re si komo tempili. O si kon tempili, a wan se rafu duro li o kere, o kokan, wan ni ye me fa, o fi meji bo, o jure, o si fi meji bo e sere, o si in fi meji fo. And one cried unto another and said, Oli, 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 is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory. E ke nisi ke si e ke jikpe, mi man, mi man, mi man, li olu walon wa wan mogun, bo gba ye kofo go re. And the post of the door move at the voice of him, that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me, for I'm undone, because I'm a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the several of him unto me, having a life coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongues from off the altar, and he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this has touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sins poured. Joseph, a mumu, lati ori pepewa, Osi vikamilia, and Osi vipe kesi, 
e yi ti kan e tere amo ese dede re kuro ati fo ese re nu the tongue and the lips are organs of speech or organ of expression or communication ah ati e te won je ya ra to pe a fin soro ta si fin takuro so both of them lips and uh, the tongue in addition with the truth they are found in the mouth gbo meje gita so ye te ati aha ati gogongo wa meje ji la nba ni eno wa so mouth with its other member organs that is the truth the tongue and the lips all are used for communicating words tori na aha ati awon eya ra yoku o tumo si aha ete ati gogongo wa gbogbo re la ma lo lati fi soro but there is more so what comes out of our lips than just a speaking so gba in tin ti eno wa jade opo ju kan kan ma soro lo the word of a man is very very important oro ti eniyan so jade o se padaki the word of a man tells much about his life oro ti nti enu eyan jade o ma so bi iru aye eni be ti ri when i talk about life ti mo ba so nipa aye eyan life of man is composed of his world o ni gbe aye oluwa re o o o ni se nipa oro to nti enu re jade his way i mean is working is working about his way o na to I say, ati bo se rin, ati bo se ngbe. I want to tell us that the word of man can tell us the way man goes. Mo ve so fun yin ibi teyan ba nlo gan ninu oro enu re lati mo. How about the work he does? Bo ni se tin se his profession. E se to yan lai. His engagement. He said on se gan. What is doing? Kini se the word of mouth can reveal it. Oro to tenu re jade yo ya mo ru se to yan lai o. The word of his life. Ba wo gan ni bi eni ese koju osun won si. His worth can be detected from his word. Bo se ni ye lori se to koju osun won si a le be won le won ni po oro to tenu re jade. Do you also know that the wellness, the well-being of man, that is whether the man is healthy or sick can also be detected from the tongue? bi ilera bi ilera niyan se ri gan boya o je ala ilera tabi en to lera a le mo nipa han re in those days ni ojo won ni when somebody is sick ti eni kan ba sai san maybe a, a little child boya mo de with his father at home but to si wa pelu baba re and that sickness is uh, very serious o je pe ai san yin o le gan the father will bring the child baba mo omo yen wa i will ask the child to stick out his lip i mean his uh, tongue baba wa so fun omo ya na won re si ta ke we examine that tongue wo wa won omo yen maybe there are some black is uh, substance on the tongue mo wo boya awon kan dudu kan o ti si apasi awon re what is things you know on that very tabi, tongue tabi awon kan fun fun bi efu to wa ni awon re depending on what they discover they can know the kind of illness the kind of uh, sickness that person is having in ti won ba ri ninu awon omo won yi ni won fi mo iru aisan to ba omo yi fin ra you can see how important the tongue is se wa ri bi awon se se pataki si there is also a close connection between the heart and the tongue ba kan na asopo wa laarin awon ati o tin ti o kan wa after all the mouth also only speaks what is exactly in the heart so sa mo in to wa nu okan na le nu mo so jade when somebody speaks then he can ba soro jade and whatever he says in to ba so gan that is exactly how his heart is in gan ni o so fu wa bi okan ni biyan se ri so there is connection between the heart and the and the ma and, and the tongue ori na so po wa laarin an to nti an jade ati nti o to wa nu okan lohun as the heart goes so goes the the tongue ori na ibi to kan ba nlo gan ibe ni an lo as the heart is so is the tongue bi okan ni se ri be ni awon re o se ma so the tongue is the true indication of the state of the heart tori na a gan o ni ma se so apeju we ntin be nu okan the book of matthew we read in uh, chapter 12 tells us that mi re re matthew ta ka ni ori keji layan so fu wa nbe let's look at verse 34 e ja we se kan le logbon in verse 34 e se kan le logbon the bible say oh generation of vipers how can ye be evil speak good things for out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh eyin omo paramole eyin ti se niyan buburu yo se le so rere nitori ninu opolopo ohun ti inu le enu so so that means tongue just is like into a bucket i want so pe aha o da bi ladugbo that is lured into the well of water pool of water of a heart o da bi ladugbo ta ju sinu kan ga pe ko bu omi wa the well connotes the heart e ri wi pe eyin The well is the heart well is the heart o kan ga yen gan loda bi okan and whatever is in the heart is the water there in to ba si wa nu okan o lo mi ta fa jade if you take a bucket to draw the water out e ri wi pe o ladugo yen o ni ofa o mi tin be nu kan ga jade and that bucket that we draw out water is the tongue nje je mo pe ladugo to fa o mi tin be nu kan ta ti si apeju wi okan e jade o ngan ni awon wa and depending on what is in the heart 
the tongue draws out. In Tobasi, one more can go on your so yade. Either good or bad. Yala and Toda and Tabi Dakeji. Either clean or dirty. Yala or money tabo dirty. Either cold or all. Yala to the tabo bona. Either sweet or sour. Yala and Toda and Tabi Toka. And that is exactly what the art is to do. A tongue. The art can say this young Gala's up a you will. And uh, you know. This uh, tongue we are talking about is a fantastic member of the body. Oh my yeah, to we and uh, when we look at the way God put it there, it's telling us that that tongue itself is very, very dangerous. Number one, we should know that this tongue is constantly in a wet and slippery place. No wonder it sleeps a lot of time. It is only uh, we believers, saints, that will be careful. We must tame it. We don't allow it to sleep. How many Christians, people, they have spoken inadvertently and they will say, oh, please, it's a sleep of tongue. Because it is right inside the wet place and slippery place. Now to that. The tongue, you know, is very terrible. Uh -huh. and, and it's dangerous. Don't forget that I say it's located in a, in, in a wet place. But yet, that same tongue is a fire. The, the wet, you know, the, the water surrounding it cannot even quench that water that is on the tongue. And that's what James chapter 3, verse 16 says. Not only that, he said, in, in that same James, the Bible says it's a little member. So a little member, we are told that it boasted great things. That's James chapter 3, verse 5. Not only that, look at the tongue. It's called the tongue of Solomon. It's called the tongue of the the tongue of the the tongue of the It is caged behind the teeth. Ari the tongue of the ole. The teeth, the, 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 the set of teeth caged it. You know, the upper, the upper one and the lower one cage the lip in. Eri wi pe eyin ti oke ati eyin ti sale o nlo pa mo. To serve as protective. O mo se lati fi da bobo ni. So it will not sleep. Lo bile pe ko fi ni yo gere. Not only that. Eyi ni kan ko. As if that is not enough, God also put leaves to guard it. Eyi ni kan ko yato si eyin to da bobo, Olorun to wa se ete lati da bobo ah. And then with all this uh, you know protection, we discover that this same tongue is difficult to take. But look at the tongue. Touch it if you may. I say touch it if you may. If you touch it, touch it. You discover that it's so soft. It's so fleshy. And it's seemingly weak. It is a seemingly weak tissue. The Bible tells us that as blunt as it is, as soft as it is, as a seemingly weak as it is, we are told that it's a sharp razor. Bibe, it is sharp. Bibe li sofu wa ukwe bo se gye na to, bo se gye kwe o de lo wato, bibe li sofu kwe a beto mouni. And therefore, it's capable of causing greater harm than good. Tori na, ibi to le se, okpo jure to le se lo. It has ability to cut. O ni agba alati ke, like razor. Gege bi abe. It has ability to hurt. O ni agba alati pa, like a stick. Gege bi igi. It has ability to pierce like an arrow it has ability to break like a stone it has ability to burn just like fire research reveals that the average man speaks about 25,000 words per day if those words are put in exercise books written down it will contain two and a half 40 leaves exercise books. Bogboro, don't tell you, regard the Lord, you might have a fish in the way, well, better on my lay with my low yard by way, make ya tiabolo. What about a woman, average woman? Kinikawa song, Pato Bene, why? Average woman speaks about 30,000 words per day. One in it, I will be in it, why you're not on ten, no one yard day, all lenny. 
and, and that will contain three or forty leaves exercise books. It was further research. That average person spends one over five of his entire life talking. I was a week that is 20% of his life. Talking and talking and talking and talking. But the, the point is not that we are talking. But what are you talking? What are you saying? Because I was just uh, meditating upon it. Since uh, yesterday, our pastor GS has been talking and talking and talking. But you know, he's talking, giving us edification. But our religion was here kept on talking and talking and talking. But what has he been talking? Talking things that we edify. Then consider it. You have also been talking and talking. What have you been talking? You wanna work that you buy your tin sorrow, tin sorrow, kin it on so yeah. Make up uh, three exercise books or two and a half exercise books. So from that research, it can be said that we are talking about an 80 year old man before he dies, we spend 60 years to talk. And if it's 100 years old, it's going to spend 20 years to talk. A 70 year old person will spend 14 years to talk. A 60 year old person will spend 12 years to talk. A 50 year old person will spend Spend ten years to talk. And it's about yeah, daughter, do no look, or talk, or just see what you're too low, or do my wallet. What are forty years old person? Can you cast on the quantum look? Go your eight years to talk. Or do make your sanguine little division. Somebody who is thirty years old. And about yeah, your body. He has spent six years to talk. Or do my father, lot of his or somebody who is twenty years. And about your god. He has spent four years to talk. What if I do many sorrow? Talking and talking and talking. Also, I've been so and so. And listen to me, the research was carried out before the advent of this uh, GSM. With the advent of advanced technology of communication, in that that you can compute what is going to be the result now. How we need to remember that it is not how much or less what we speak that matters, but the value, the weight, and the worth of our world. That matters, but the value, the weight, and the worth of our world. People can easily be evaluated or assessed by the kind of you know the kind of person they have or workers they have by what they speak out of their We are looking at three points. Number one, propensity to transgression. Of redeemed believers tongue. We run walk walk lati lossy no I said they de nitori a hun and when it at pada propensity to transgression of redeemed believers tongue. We run walk walk lati lossy no I said they de nitori uh natura pada number two ikeji purging and transformation of reproached believers tongue. Fifo no at ye pada I won't uh went toti. And then boy number three. Proclaiming the truth by unapproachable believers tongues. We shall consider the first point. That is propensity to transgression of redeemed believers tongues. I go back to the book of Isaiah chapter 6. We Isaiah or and uh, in verse, I want to read from verse uh, 5. It was explained to us uh, today. That Isaiah, 
Isaiah. He was a great man of God. A great preacher. A great prophet by excellence. And God had been using him. And he has preached so many messages. And he's been serviceable in the uh, to God. But yes, though a saint. But like we are a prophet, Woli, a redeemed, there is still problem. This problem in this land. I want to solo. You go to Pharisees in the problem. Kini solo na. The problem of the tongue. Solo tiarani. And the Bible tells us. Really, we fwa. In that year when King Uzziah died, he saw the Lord sitting upon the throne, high and lifted up, and he straight filled the temple. Ni adona ti usaya abaku emiri olu wajo kolori te ti osi biara is okay. And we are told, you know, the angels started proclaiming who that God he saw is and was then. And we are told, they, are, they were crying, Holy, Holy, Holy. I was of one knee, I want to get the if one day, you do any to your Lord, and say, we want to get me, 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 me. This revelation of only God, Christ, only God, made them to see the perfection. And uh, the transgression in his tongue. If he uh, olu wa mima ti aisa yari unlo je kori kudie kudie ati di baje eighteen be ne pase anre. Therefore, in verse five, he cried, "Woe is me, for I'm undone, because I'm a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips." Neba na ni mo wipe egbe ni fun me ni tori mo egbe ni tori mo je alai me te mo si wala ni awe ni alai ma ite ni tori oju mi tori oba awo ba. If Isaiah, as great as he was, as prophetic, his, uh, prophetic uh, his ministry was, could really have the propensity to go into sin through tongue and for the tongue to be unclean. The question is this: How about you? How about me? See, Isaiah, we learn learn it. You just have to go talk on the note about your Lord and that you are bad. Toba run, we could hear, could hear from all that you learn. I said, "Hey, hey, you pass your hand." You better know what you are about. You what you mean? Our speech is one of the truest indication of our spiritual conditions. In turn, turn on what you do. Oh, no, you are so dumb. Big boy, you mean what you mean? Expectedly, the mouth of the unredeemed is the one that should be pouring out evil. Back by the law, in turn, turn on what you are about. You are the only one. That is what the Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter fifteen. In the belly of one, you are weary and don't go near. Mouth of the unredeemed, of of sinner, of wicked man, pour it out evil continually. We pay all annuity our rapper that he belongs so yah they ni bobo ba. If uh, an evil man, wicked man, a sinner is pouring out evil, we will not have problem. But why is when saint is now pouring out evil? I think we need to be concerned. Si annuity our rapper da, elese ta tik bala. Tobro nu reban so ibi yah de ele yoman isoro. The Bible only kawa so ni pati ento kwa long bag bo. In Proverbs chapter uh, five and verse three. Oh, we already. The Bible said that the mouth of uh, the wicked, of sinful woman, of sinful man, also poured out lost, lustful talking, lustful speech and communication. The Bible says, "Ope eno enia enia lese o kone tabo bi ni ope omo soro ife kufe inlo omo soja de." We may not have problem with them. Ah, tia ni soro kwe bile yi. They are wicked. If sinna does not commit sin, what would they do again? Tia lese oba mo dese kilo ave mo se. How do we contemplate a saint also? Speaking perverse, perverse word and lustful words. So, when you come out, so you see, tabari oni bag bot. Oje kwe eno re ni oro oro soku so tabi oro ife kufe tinja de. In Jeremiah chapter nine, Jeremiah ori kesa. And verse eight, Ese ke jo. The mouth of sinful man is deceitful. The belly ni oka ni eko lese wipe oje ta. And in Psalm ten verse verse seven. Oh, or in that video, look at where Sekej. We see curses coming out of the mouth of sinners. Ah, the people go out to the people who don't tell no one. I about lies. Ba oni ro ba. They speak lies. Mang pa ro. I about perfection. Ba oni ro di ba ye. I about vanity. Ba oni ro asan. The same with flattery. Ba oni ro asan. Look at the foolishness come out of a sinner's lies. It's all wrong. We don't tell no one. Let's say yade. I about I do talk. You need cast on it pa ro. They engage in it so much. Oh, this is your ro. We don't know. The same thing goes with a swear. Why not? Ni kama zani kwa ibura. Feel the communication. Awo oro e dirty. Gossip. Awo oro e ni. And all the lies. Ati oni ruru ro. But I want to read from the book of Romans. So kwaje in Kalati no we Romans. Let's in chapter three. Eja awori keta. Verse thirteen and fourteen. Ese keta la ati keni la. The Bible speaks about the tongue, the throat, the mouth, and the lips 
of the ungodly of the sinner bibeli so nipa ete aha ati gogogongo awon elese you know i spoke of those things as a agent of communication time pe mo ti so fun wa wi pe awon kan won yin la nlo lati bi soro and this passage really talk about their wrong use from sinners ibi ta wa fe ka yo wa so nipa silo awon eya won yin lati odo awon elese romans chapter 3 verse 13 and 14 romo ori keta ese keta lati kerin la their throat is an open sepulcher with their tongues they have used deceit the poison of asp is under their lips whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness ese keta la isa oku ti o si sile le ofun won awon si ni ise itanje oro paramole nbe ni ete won enu eni ti o ko fun epe ati oro kikoro however and unfortunately too among the sins that easily beset saints is the sin of an unbridled tongue ju gogbo re lo o ti eto wa se ni laanu laarin awon ese ti o rorun lati di mo ni o na ni ai ko re ni janu ai twan loju laarin awon ayan fi olorun when we then wonder what causes this awa mo ya wa lenu pe ki lo fa gan probably because of a carnality boya ni tori iwe ran ara it might be because of false repentance boya ni tori ironu pe wada ti o mu na doko maybe the professing believer is not really genuinely converted boya ni to ti en cry lo ni gbagbo igan ko ni yi pada it's not manifesting the trait of the ungodly o wa bere si wu awon e wa lai wa bi olorun jade maybe you know is claiming fake sanctification boya is so di mi mo to hun ni to lohun ni alumo ni and sometimes their repentance might be genuine and sanctification true but they might have backslidden igba miran ewe ironu pe wa da won ati so di mo megbo re lemu na doko sugbon ki won ti peyin da they might they may they, they might allow carnality in their life won le ti gba iwa ran ara ko ra pala wonu aye won and if, in fact it might be as a result of yielding to temptation o tu wa le je ni tori pe won jo wa ara won fu ohun elo dan wo or sometimes carelessness and prayerlessness igba miran o le je ija fara ati aile gbadura all this in believers life You know makes them to misuse their tongue. Ibo gbe le ba ti ra pa la wo nu aye oni gbagbo yo wa je oro run fun won lati ma si aran won lo. And that deadly poisonous sharp razor beast that is a to be caged and to be tamed is allowed to sleep and is talking evil. E wa ri pe eya ni to loro to npa ni to je apa ni run ni to je ina to ye ki o mo tuloju to si wa ni bi ton yo mo wa gba laye lati yo gere lati mo se nti o ye ko si. So we discover that many a saint many a supposed saint are falling victims of the sins of the tongue. A wa ri daju pe opolopo awon en to pera won ni osise ati eyan mi mo lo ni won ti bo sinu idekun asilo awon. We see that eh uh, Uh, there are believers either in the past or in the contemporary time because of their you know like we read in the book of Isaiah the day or the year king Uzziah died he saw the law maybe because uh, the the present believer or the past uh, days believers because they don't allow their king Uzziah of their heart and of their tongue to be slain to be killed they have not seen the lord of glory and yet their mouth their tongue their lips is now altering perfection awa so gege ba se ka ninu we isaiah o le se le be ko ye pe iru awon tan pera awon ni ayan fe ati eyan olorun be boya as ka ni wa isaiah pe ni odun ti oba usaiah ku boya awon oba usaiah oba ti o nyo aye won koku nipa ti asilo awon ati bi won te nse gbo awon ere ayulo o wa je ki won mo su awon wa be king uzziah died oba uraiah ku and then Uh, the man of this man of god was paul awa ri pe lodun na la we okunrin mo the king uzziah do is reign on our life if it is not put to death and that is our tongue is not crucified is not nailed to the cross is going to send us into hell awa ri pe awa na to ye pe oba uraya nu aye wa e ti se oba lori awon wa to nsi se buburu ni ta ba gba laye ka kan ma gbe le bu ohun na le ran wa lorun apadi and uh, when we don't see the law lifted up and i and holy then the act remains polluted and the tongue conveys that pollution out of the mouth ti won na ba si ti ri iru ran ti isaiah ri ngba tori oba ogo to je mi mo to wa nu e wa re to wa nu gun wa re ti won na ori be ko le si ona ti won na o fi le we mo kuro ninu asilo ahan e lati le je mi mo at such low or zero level of spirituality the act is prone to sinning a wa ri ni pe ni rupo okan be ti okan ba wa ni rupo yi yo ronu wo ku wo ku fun lati lo nu ese this explains the reason for the experiences of the church and the saints in the wilderness 
ale wa nsi apejuwe iriri to sele si ijo to wa ni to rin ninu agejo ngba yen in the book of first corinthians ninu we corinthi kini let's see in chapter 10 aye ka wo ri kewa there was a church in the uh, in, in the wilderness awon ejo ninu agejo ngba na and uh, fortunately the bible tells us that whatever happened to them then they are example to us that the end of the days has have come o ti e wa dara iwe mi mo so fun wa wi pe n to sele si wa na o ja apejuwe atari ko gbon fun awa to pin aye de ba in the book of first corinthians chapter 10 corinthians kini ori kewa reading from verse 1 aja kese kini o brethren i will not be i will not that ye should be ignorant how that our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto moses in the cloud and in the sea nitori emi ko fe ke yin ki o je ki o si alai mo ara bi gbogbo awon baba wa ti nbe labi awon samo ti gbogbo won si la okun ja ti a si ba nti si gbogbo won si mose ninu awo samo ati ninu okun they were redeemed won gba won ara pada they were saved agba won la and they took up their pilgrimage journey from awon, egypt going to canaan land awon na si bere irin ajo won lati ile egypt won lo si ile mimo ti se canaan we have also been redeemed awon na ati gba wa la we have been saved awon na ti de ni gala and we are undertaking our journey from this world to heaven ba kan na awon na ti bere irin ajo wa lati inu aye ilo an lo si ilo orun but in verse 5 so won ni ese ka run along their journey lo nlo na won the bible say with many of them god was not well pleased they were overthrown in the wilderness. What happened to them? The Bible tells us. They started committing sin. Particularly the sin of the tongue. Let's see in verse 9. Neither let us tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted and were destroyed of the serpents. Gaga bi awon mi ran ninu won ti dan wo ti a si fi ejorun won look at verse 10 neither momo ye as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer wa wo ese ke wa bayi be ni ki eyin ki o mo se kun gaga bi awon mi ran ninu won ti kun ti a si ti owo lo parunrun won look at verse 6 now these things were an examples to the intent we should not lose after evil things and speak and you know lustful words wa wo ese ke fa bayi nkan won e ja si apere fun awa ki awa ki o mo se se ife ku fi ohun buburu gege bi awon pelu ti se ife ku fe fast 11 now all these things happen unto them for examples and are written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come wa wo ese kokan la won yi nkan won yi si se si won bi apere fun wa asiko won si asiko we won sile fun ikilo awa eni ti igbeyin aye de ba there are a lot of things that happen you know to the church uh, in the saints in the wilderness which made them to be displeased i mean which was displeasing to god i have a, a few lists of them number one the momo you can read of their momoni in number chapter 13 they were momoni they were talking and complaining because of the of the way sometimes they say it was it is weary they are tired another time they said they will make up captain for them to return to Egypt. That is in number chapter 13. Reading from verse 26 to 28. Only that, number two. They confess negatively. The land God has promised that He will give to them. He Turn the uh, twelve spies. They contaminated the whole congregation. Through their negative talking, and then the evil affected the heart of the congregation. As for this good land God is taking us to, we will be not able. How many people are also speaking negative words in the church today? Melo, melo, and we are not your Lord in that answer. Maybe when our pastor is giving us a goal, boy, I need to tell you, so I got to have one for Giving us assignment, giving us an assignment, uh, you know, something to do. Money in time, you can say me. Is telling us that uh, maybe uh, for this uh, coming youth uh, program brings also so number of youth. Maybe we will have a negative speakers among people that will say, ah, how do you get uh, 200, uh, 100, uh, 250, uh, and then we are taking 3,000 to Osobo, and they start. 
talking negatively they will say we are unable awa le ri enikan ti o doko ni koro mama da kan be yen ti o ma so pe ah won tu ti de bo la se ri ogorun meji ogorun meji abo won wa ni egorun egberun meta la nko lo so gbo ah le se te so yi unfortunately o wa se ni la no so that they were unable they were unable i want to talk fenu ara won jewo pa won o le se won o si le se na but those who said they were able so pa won to pa le se they did it won se they did it won kuku se so this coming uh, youth program I strongly believe the goal we are giving. We are able. Are we able? Are we able? Somebody now says that in case you find among the congregation those who are saying, you know, they, they, they are saying they can't. They can't. Can't is always their own language. Ah, we are you pay? You can't wash up. We tap at you. We are the land. You go to work. Then you end up with ah, let's say. Ah, let's say, I think my prayer, let's say, no, they didn't tell you. He gives us a formula. Of one, of one, you know, to change the account to can. We pay in Tolon, let's say, yeah, what you possibly say. All you need to do is to knock the tea out of the account. What remains? Can. In that, say, no, Nick, but. Ah, let's say yeah. I walk back to work in your cool, Molly. Say. So when you see some people that are talking negatively, they are wearing tons of rodi. Change their mind. You will hear come up by that. That was what Caleb and Joshua did. In the Caleb, what did Joshua say? They silenced the ten, the the the, the ten. Uh, uh, we, those who went to the the the. the uh, those pies. We can't. We are able. You are giving certain amount of money to pay. Ah, so pay ye ba Never say I can. I want not. 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 I want of tongue for believers. As you learn, if only back, what am I talking about? They say we are believers. I only back, but never. Not talk, you know, unbelievable. Ah, but I'm not sorry. Back, but just they. Not only that. You need to go. We also see the company of Kora Data and Ab Abira. At the very end, when they come, they come to Data and Kora to Abira. They mess up themselves. What better than what they do? And they conspire. No, what they malu. They spoke word of conspiracy. No, what sorry they malu against their leader. But they say Adari one. See this Moses. And Aaron, they are taking too much uh, of them uh, upon themselves. Are they the only one that can sacrifice? Can we not also sacrifice? And then they wanted to make leader of themselves. They want to dethrone Moses and Aaron. We have that kind of uh, situation in our churches. In our region, in our district, in our zone. And then they are, they are talking about leader. And who, who, make, who make you leader? And some people they will not sit under the message of one leader because they don't like him. They will have their way. They will walk to the region of Asia. And say, Pastor, this one you gave us. We don't want him. Remove him. They are called Data Nabira. I say, I want to see what you are called Data Nabira. You know, God there with them. Oh Lord, no, so gale. Because of their evil conspiracy. Oh Lord, no bad. We need to read the Maluwa. Not be in the account. I want to go to one. Not to let that. You need to go. We see another one. I told you I want to go. How about Aaron and Miriam? That one is not part of the Miriam. Who criticized Moses? I want to go to Moses because of uh, the wife he had. We need to read the Obi. We are right up here to be. And you know we are told that this man Moses was the meekest upon the earth. As he suffered, I want to go to Moses. You are dear. Only one who told me I want to go to. So gentle, so meek, so. So 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 uh, humble. He didn't fight for himself. God fought for him. Allah Allah Jafu. God fought for him. Allah Jafu. And uh, maybe we have in our districts but, those who are talking about leader. Oh yeah, one and many. Eh, come one and ten. Sorry, one and twenty. Talking about pastor. One and twenty. Call this one. Go to one. Very very careful. But okay, Sarah. Not only that. He didn't go. He did not. Me no again. The time came. He also called it. They met with hardship of lack of water and food. He come. He never come. One day, he party on day. Oh me, party on day. Ti one day. Instead of praying, they resorted to complaining, to murmuring, to gossiping. And as they continued doing that, God was angry with them. God was angry with them. But we thank God. Touch in the New Testament. When they made with hardship on their own, do you know they didn't complain? They were beaten. They, they were beaten. 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 They were beaten.
Peter never spoke negatively. He didn't complain. He didn't bomb All they did was to pray. Paul and Silas. Paul at the sila. Had their time of hardship. Lack of coke. Man, you think when you're at the bar, bad problem. At that time, they didn't complain. They were only singing and praying. One one yolo. And eventually, God arose and rescued them. And the same thing we should do. Instead of complaining, instead of murmuring, let's pray. Let's talk to God. God has never failed. We will never fail. It's not only that. There was a time in the same uh, wilderness church. Some members discouraged others. They discouraged them. That's this journey we are undertaking. Uh, we are going to die. We, we cannot make it. Ah, le, la, Let's ba, se, go back. Discouragement. In the art of mouth for people. Ne, ne, and so some people there. that speak discouraging words. Ah, so so Maybe when somebody like uh, you know is uh, posted to a village or to another district, and then you know maybe he talks he talks to his wife or to his friend and say, Ah, what have you done? What offense have you committed to against the pastor that is throwing you? Go and go to him and say, I'm not going there. Discouraging words. Boy, any can at a cynical paraco, croak about our Lord Daddy. I want your calabule. Our loss of way I would and ule. Our baby, Oko, kill us a si pastor. As a will, as a one of you, you are by Jay, a low bower, as a way with any care, lawyer, and law. That kind of thing should not come out of our mouth. You will lay your brother, no, I got Rather, we need to encourage. Pray with some people. And support them. In the work of God, they are giving. Go through where that they are going to succeed. Moses succeeded. Moses succeeded. We are bound to succeed. And we shall succeed. It's not only that. In the same Old Testament, Abraham also. You know, misuse his tongue. He lied to Pharaoh that Sarah was his sister. That was half truth. And we find sense today. They tell half truth. And half truth is equal to lying. I about deceit. The Bible tells us. In Jeremiah chapter 9. And verse 5. That friend deceives friend. And no one speaks the truth. We find this among you know our uh, young sisters and young brothers. Maybe they are praying, seeking for the will of God. Instead of telling the truth, how thing is. They will be fabricating lies because they want to get married. Have you forgotten about heaven? You have forgotten about rapture? As in real, Tori pe won fe se gbe yawo nipo ti won finrin san won wa mo pe koro won mo pe koro won oni so titon e ti gbagbe orun we need to be very careful agbodo ki sara our mouth needs to be purged eh awon wa agbodo we mo isaiah saw the glory of god isaiah ori ogu olorun and then he pray for cleansing o gbadura fe we nu mo and god purged him olorun si we mo and as god purged him olorun si we mo we purge us yo wa wa na mo i say we purge mo we we wa mo we cleanse us yo we wa mo Today, in the life of believers, we also see a lot of things ah. that, co that come out of their oh, tongue. Oh, Foolish talking. Frivolous talking. Flattery. Falsehood. Fearful words. Not only that, out of some lips of people, we we find words. Hypocritical words. ST words. Ask words. Coming out of their mouth. Not only that. Out of the mouth of some people. We hear discouraging words. Destructive words. Despiteful words. Defaming words. 
Yeah, you see wife and husband nagging. Speaking negatively against each other. Not only that. You need to What about the uh, confront, uh, confronting world? Condemning critical corrupt world. All this proceed out of the mouth of supposed say. My brethren. The book of James says, These things ought not so to be. We need to apply for purging. Point number two. Purging and transformation of believers' tongue. Isaiah prayed. He said, Oh Lord. I have seen myself. I am a man of unclean lips. And then he cried. Okay, he cried unto God. Okay, be, see, Oluwa. And God had him. Oluwa, see, go. And there was a lively coal. From the altar of heaven. That, that was laid upon his tongue. tongue. Awa, fisi, ni, ah. And that tongue was purged. Ah, ni, awa, we, As the tongue of Isaiah was purged. Ah, Isaiah, awa, we, Today. La, ni, oh. Your tongue, ah, my tongue, ah, the tongue of the church in ah, the present day, ah, ah, will be poured in Jesus' name. Ah, in that book of Isaiah, no, Isaiah so yeah. in the year King Uzziah died, oh, no, 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 Isaiah saw the vision of the Lord. Ah, Isaiah, oh, you know, go along. And the light, that life called from heaven poured his leaves. Oh, yeah, you know, that, you know, what was the resultant effect? His leaves was poured. Ah, found, and that tongue. As it is now purged, you know, in yieldedness and surrender to God, we discovered that the mouth could not uh, could not uh, speak perverse words anymore. And immediately he started to now preach and to be more useful to God. The law of kindness now characterizes his tongue. And it was like uh, the mouth of Jesus Christ. Oh, that be or, uh, no Christine. The Bible tells us all people bear him witness and wondered at the gracious word which proceeded out of his mouth. So, whenever wherever and uh, whatever we speak after our tongue is already poured we will be speaking the word of God that is ceasing with grace ceasing with soul that we may know how to answer every man after we are poured we are to speak the word that are gracious words that are measured words that are considerate Words that are edifying. Words that are comforting. Words that are encouraging. 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 If our tongues are truly transformed, Words that are encouraging. Words that and I want to tell you, after being poured, we still need to take caution. We still need to walk. We still need to ensure that we tame our tongue. How do we successfully tame this tongue? I want to tell us 10 things quickly. Number one, after our tongue is poured, like Isaiah's tongue was poured, we should keep seeing lips. That is what Psalm 39, verse 1 says. The psalmist prayed, oh Lord, put watch upon my tongue. That means we need to be silent. Silence space. What if we are just talking and talking and talking and talking. In the multitude of words, there cannot but be found. Sin. So number two. 
Not only are we to be silent. When we you want over. to break the silence. Speak, speak sparingly. Oh my sorrow, yeah, boss, yeah, so. Speak sparingly. You know, my sorrow, few words. Let your words be few. Oh, no one, 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 no no, I I it. It. Speak no evil, hear no evil, and believe no evil of any man. I ke sara na reo, ma so ibi, ma bo ibi, ma si ba ibi bo la tenu eni keni. That is what the first book of Peter chapter three verse ten tells us. In tik pete ru kini ori ke ta seke wa sofu ani. Not only that. I ni kako. We need to speak salty seasoned words. Agbodo ma so roti adun pe lu yo. That is Colossians chapter four verse six. Colossians ori ke ni seke fa. And then we speak, we speak sand word. I must sorrow to niye. Heavy word. Sorrow to niye. That is what first uh, second Timothy chapter one verse thirteen tells us. In Timothy ke jori kine zeke talas of wani. And then we need to speak soft word. I must sorrow erele. Not ash word. He is sorrow to le. As well as you know when we are talking, let our our speaking be straight. Straight forward. Sorrow e ya losa. Don't parambulate. Mama pe koro. No, just take straight, you know, to the point. Sa soro san, so you have enko. Talk straight to the point. Soro san. Yeah, in that way. No, no, be. You will avoid sinning with your tongue. Oh, ma, oh, ma, ske, si la ti ma le se ni pa an re. And let us also consider to supplicate always. E to ja ma, baro la ti ma si pe ni bo bo ba. The Bible nowhere does not tell us that we should speak continually. Talk every time, but say speak. I mean, pray always. Be belly or so. Be a sama sorrow. Say, I'm a sorrow. Go go bad. Be belly or so. In tea belly, so ni be a mug bad run. Go go bad. Niba go go. We pray always. I'm a bad run. Go go go. When situation is difficult, niba think about le. Instead of murmuring, you go to a mug of complaining. You go to a mug of Why don't you pray? You don't talk bad run. You pray bad run. Why don't you also employ the method of a. Uh, uh, Paul and Sila. In the time of their ashes, they resorted to prayer. And they resorted to singing songs. If we do this, we overcome the danger of our tongue. And that way, no, no, we will be made ready for rapture. Point number three. Proclaiming the truth by rapture believers tongue. I want to go back to the book of Isaiah. In chapter 6. Isaiah chapter 6. I read now in verse 8. Also, I heard a voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then send I. Here am I. Send me. Send me. Before the Lord can now send him on a greater, more fulfilling ministry, his tongue was purged. And when his tongue was now purged, he could now say, Here am I, send me. We all, we all know that Christ comes imminent. We are to prepare ourselves. And when we are preparing ourselves, we are not selfish about it. We are not selfish about it. We are not selfish about it. We are the wall of fornicators. The wall of adulterers. The wall of a liar. And then we preach the word of God to them. So that it, by the time the rapture takes place, as we are taking along, you also might go with us. But before we can be so uh, fruitful and useful in the hands of God, our tongue needs to be pulled. In the book of uh, I want to read from chapter 51. Let's see, let's see verses 12 and 13. Uh, the psalmist says, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Nigba na le mi o mo ko 
awon o lure koja le ona re ati awon elese ni ona yi pada si o ni o yi pada si o unless our tongue is transformed tiki ba se pe aba ya awon wa pada redeem ta we mo and pour ta fo mo our preaching we have no fruit e ri pe iwa su wa ko ni sesu but when now that we are pour sugar ba e ta ti we mo i am very sure o da mi loju we shall be more productive a je lesu we shall be able to preach the word of god awa su oro na we shall be able to really make ourselves ready and make others ready for heaven a si wa le pe se ara wa sile a tu wa le pe se awon le muran sile fun igba soke Jesus say, "Yes, we pray. Occupy it like I can. Man, so we tell me. So we day. know Jesus is coming. I'm a pray. Yes, we And we need to. I'm a so we using our tongues. Oh, Lord, I'm ready to preach. I'm a pray. The word of God for all of us to sinners. And as we are preaching to them, we are also preparing ourselves I'm, also ready I'm, I'm for heaven. So, 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 so as so, heaven band rapture will sing. They give you a new bag, but only the two are not too much. We still live our lives." And our hearts with the love and the word of God and dedicate our lives and our lips for evangelizing the lost sinners for the purpose of winning them winning the sinners and then entreating the backsliders and also for the purpose of restoring them to the law and edifying the believer for the purpose of establishing them in the law and that way we are preparing ourselves and they are also being prepared and it is my prayer and it is my belief anytime you have to sign you and I will make it in Jesus' name. Our tongue will not hinder us. Ah, wow, and if it's not going to hinder us, we need to, uh, to go before the Lord and, and apply for purging. Apply for the life code from, from the altar of heaven. To so so touch our lips. To touch our tongue. To so purge us. We need to repent. Any sin of tongue that we have committed, we are going to be answerable to God but before the day of judgment. We can repent today. And God will just forgive us. I want us to rise up. As we are rising, I want us to begin to pray. Just examine your life. Don't forget. We are before the potter. We are the clay. Maybe our tongues has made us, you know, as mad as in one way or the other. And as we are going to be before the potter, we are the clay. Maybe we are before the potter. Maybe we are before the potter. Maybe we have offended so many people. Maybe we are before the potter. Maybe we have even sent some people out of the church because of our tongue. Boy, you need power. We are at it. We are going to grow. No, you are growing. Maybe you have caught, you have lacerated, and you have criticized our pastor, our boy, one, one leader or the other. Boy, you need power. The O T K O C T P P A N O L U S W A G O T A N W A L E Y. You are back beating. O T S O R O Y. You have gushy. O T S O R O Y. You are. You have spoke, spoken the word of slander. You have spoken bitter words. Out of your mouth. You need to pray. I say, Oh God, this is my tongue. Unruly evil. This is my tongue. Unruly evil. Fire. That want to set me on fire. Fire. I don't want to be burnt. I don't want to be burnt. I don't want to be burnt. By the fire of my tongue. I don't pray. I don't pray. I don't want to go. I don't want to be killed. By the lion in the cage of my mouth. God can be merciful to you. He can be merciful. He can be merciful. If you can pray, let's talk to God. Let's pray. I say, God, purge me, cleanse me. Enough is enough. Misuse of my tongue. Enough is enough. Negative word. Enough is enough. Money. Enough is enough. 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 Positively, to preach the word of God, to comfort people, to encourage people. Let's pray. God can be merciful to us. He did it for Isaiah. He will do it for us. He will do it for us.